hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to talk about some very 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 important information before purchasing a wig about um before i get into different textures and different wigs and everything then too i wanted to talk about hairlines some people have low hairlines to where you know you got like a lot of baby hairs or your hairline just super, super like down here. And then a lot of people look at one one person and say, well, how come my wig don't look like hers? Well, everybody has different hairlines, different head shapes, different foreheads. So you can't, you can't expect for your wig to look like someone else's wig when everybody facial shape hairline etc is different i wanted to state that if you have a hair low hairline i usually would recommend for customers to get a five by five wig now a five by five wig is usually from here to here only so from here to here is lace only so the rest of the wig is just bundles so you can't really you know put it behind your ear like that or anything you can but i would recommend to leave some hair out on the side just so you won't see those bundles so yeah i usually recommend five by fives on customers who have very low hairlines um unless you got like a bomb stylist who could pluck the mess out of that wig and make it look extremely natural i recommend five by fives or six by six four by fours for people with low hairlines um only because a lot of times with people with low hairlines this part down here comes all the way right here or all the way down there and then you don't want your wig sitting you know on top of your eyebrows so yeah um next i wanted to talk about i'm looking at my notebook <clears throat> next I wanted to talk about lace front wigs. So lace front wigs are usually made with, yeah, lace front wigs are usually made with a frontal and about two bundles, unless it's a custom wig with maybe two bundles and half a bundle or three bundles with a frontal. But most of them are made with two bundles and a frontal 150 density. 150 density is probably the most natural looking wig because it's not as thick and full and poofy now. A 180 density wig is more fuller. Most A lot of women do like theirs 180 density, full and super, super thick. I prefer mine 150, I'm, I'm fine with that. Either or, they both look nice. Um, texture. Mainly, nope, all textures. Curly hair, curly hair, or wavy hair, whatever the case may be. Now, most websites um, have, like, the wig that you're about to purchase already, like, styled and wet and curled and stuff like that. So, a lot of times, um, in Brazilian curly in particular, very, very curly hair in particular, a lot of times women will order curly hair and then when they get it they think that they got the wrong hair and that's not the case all hair before you purchase it it is intact it's intact so it's not defined it's not brushed through it's combed through wet none of that so you have to keep that in mind when you first buy curly hair i'll show you how to define it too but um i'm gonna insert a picture too of how curly hair is how it looks when you first purchase it and how it'll look after you brush through it wet it and define the curls and everything and sometimes most times most times when you purchase curly hair it's shrinkage just like a woman with natural curly hair it's shrinkage until you you know define it and brush through it and everything so i wanted to state a little fact about that most curly hair you it will not come already stretched it will not come defined or any of that like 
even Indian curly hair. Most Indian curly hair or body waves come, well, most Indian curly hair comes like in like this spiral looking curl and bunched up. And a lot of people, when they get it, this don't look like what I ordered. Well, you have to, you have to brush through it. You have to define it. You have to wet it and it'll stretch and let it air dry. And then voila, you'll get that curl pattern. Take um, even body wave. Body wave is more so of a snake, you know, looking texture. So body wave comes like that. And after you wet body wave, body wave, body wave, once you wet it, it's going to look like a wave, a light wave, not a curl because it's a body wave. So once you wet body wave, it's going to look like a loose wave. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, straight hair. A lot of times when you order a straight hair, it usually comes straight or whatever. But of course, if you see it online, it is it's styled, of course, because the owner company wants to, you know, make every picture look appealing and it's showing you how you can style it and what you can get out of this texture so yeah with straight hair it usually comes you know regular but of course the bundle it's not gonna be super sleek and shiny and like that no you have to you know style it and everything um next i wanted to talk about length and height okay so for example Say you have a five foot girl and she's wearing a 2022 20, inch. Then you have a five eight girl, five nine girl, and she's wondering, well, uh uh, I don't this, I don't think this, I don't this can't be no 22 inch because uh, this fall right here, well, height matters. Five a five foot girl is extremely short, so a 20 inch on her can be mid back because she's short. If you're 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", it's gonna fall a little bit higher, maybe a little past, uh, maybe around here, maybe. And that's because you're tall, it's, it's all about height. So if you want longer hair and you're a taller girl, go three lengths up. Maybe 24, 26, 28, 30. But it all depends on height. Height matters. You can't compare a 5'10 girl wearing, I mean, compare a 5'10 girl to a 5 foot girl wearing a 22 inch and you're 5'9. It it's going to fall different because of height. It's not going to fall the same. Different heights, different lengths. It matters. It matters. I really wanted to um, state that as well because you just, you can't compare heights and lengths on, you, you, it just, you can't. Um, and a lot of, a lot of women confuse that too. Well, I saw such and such on Instagram and it was to her ankles. Well, how tall was such and such and how tall are you? That matters. Um... Then I wanted to, I already talked about density. So density is more so about how many bundles and how full the wig is. Like I said before, 150 is more so on the natural um, side. Like it it looks like about like this. It's not, it's not too thick and too bulky looking or heavy or anything like that. So it will feel light, but not like it won't look thin or anything like that. Measurements. I would highly, 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 highly recommend before purchasing a wig to measure your head. If on a site it says 22 head circumference or 24 head circumference, measure your head to make sure that you know you'll be able to fit that wig before you purchase it so it won't be any confusions when you get it. Unless you do a custom wig to where they have like different sizes, like small, medium, large. But I would definitely recommend before purchasing a wig to measure your head circumference just so you can prevent that on your end and the company's end. 
Um, I would also like to, I already talked about how don't expect for the wig, and I feel like this is obvious, don't expect for the wig to come styled already when it's a brand new wig. When it's a brand, unless, unless it says salon ready or ready to wear or pre-styled. If, if it don't say that, then that's not what it is. I would highly, 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 highly recommend to read the description because I know sometimes a lot of women and ladies get excited and they're like, oh, this is so cute, and they don't even read nothing. Reading is very fundamental, especially when you're purchasing something and spending a good amount of money. I would recommend to read so you can know what you're getting. It, it just makes sense. Um, so yeah, don't expect, even bundles, you don't expect for, like, don't expect for, don't expect for your bundles or wigs, wigs to already be styled because they're still packaged. And that's just, this, there's no way that can happen unless it's like some type of special going on, but thousands of people are buying these wigs online. You can expect for that company to style each and every million trillion of that wig and just send it out. That doesn't, it doesn't work that way because first of all, when you get a lace wig, um, most of the time you have to pluck the hairline, bleach the knots, baby hairs, and that takes a lot of time to do especially on thousands and thousands of wigs so keep that in mind keep that in mind unless it's a special and like i said it's a line ready ready to wear if it's not that don't expect it um then i wanted to talk about full lace wigs so a lot of people be having questions about full lace wigs so a full lace wig is exactly what it says a full lace wig meaning it's lace on the entire wig meaning you could part it all the way back do some french braids you could put ponytails you could do box braids half up half down that's what a full lace wig is you can do anything with a full lace wig half up half down literally you can part it anywhere on the wig that's a full lace wig um five by five closure wig that's pretty much lace from here to here and then the rest are bundles kind of like when you get a sew-in and a frontal that's exactly what a um oh i'm on five by five kind of like when you get a closure and a i mean a yeah a sew-in with a closure it's just like that so you get bundles 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 and then it's a closure but it's on a wig so lace from here to here meaning you can only part it within this area. So you can do a middle part or you can do a little side part, little side part, and that's it. You can't really get like these baby, these little baby hairs that I got. You can't really, you know, get those with the five by five unless you leave some of your hair out on the side, which some people do. If you can, that's fine too, as long as it blends and looks natural. Then you have... Uh, a frontal wig which I said before is kind of just like when you get a sew in with a frontal and you get those bundles that's what a lace frontal wig is so it is from ear to ear all in the front depending on like the parting space parting areas make sure you read too because they got some to where you could do a deep side part like all the way over here and then they got some to where you can only do it over here still lace but the part won't go as deep so you can you know limit it part an area on some of them so swiss lace is more of like a light beige color and those blend really well on like caramel brown dark skin girls kind of like that those blend really really well on them light skin light lighter skin girls too but i would um definitely recommend to bleach the knots on a Swiss uh on a Swiss lace or use like um a concealer like in the inside of the lace or on the outside of the lace closest to your skin complexion and that will help it blend very very well too. Transparent lace is kind of like HD lace. It's 
transparent exactly what it said it's transparent so it blends really 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 well on lighter skin tones with browner girls i would definitely recommend to bleach the knots on it um just because it's like the lace is like really really light i would definitely recommend to bleach the knots for like my complexion or darker or anything like that it's um a thin lace too but not as thin as hd now hd lace is in my opinion the best lace of them all it um is invisible like the transparent lace but i feel like hd is invisible on all skin tones and it is the thinnest lace the thinnest 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 lace but i still recommend to bleach knots on all wigs just to get a more um just to get it to blend more and you know mesh mesh really well um i did want to say i also wanted to say to be mindful of how you comb and brush your hair because at the end of the day it's still a wig it is not attached to your scalp so you want to be mindful of how you brush your hair and comb your hair tug on it and everything anytime that i brush my hair i make sure i'm tying this area down at all times i'm making sure that i'm tying this area down because a lot of people tend to forget that it's a wig it's not growing out your scalp it's a wig and then too whenever i am brushing my hair i like to hold it i hold it like that definitely start from the bottom like this i hold it i hold it i don't never just because like why you want to be gentle it's a wig it's a lace wig especially if you have an hd lace you want to be very 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 gentle because it is very fragile and like i mentioned before it is the thinnest lace so you don't want to just be when, especially when you putting it on you don't want to just be because it can rip easily it's, it's very thin that's why it blends so well because it's like very very thin so i just recommend to definitely hold whenever you are brushing or combing your wig i recommend to hold it hold it and not be so rough with it you have to be gentle you have to you spend a lot of money and so so it's like you want to treat it as if it was your own hair. I mean, you want to be mindful. I just wanted to give y'all some very, very important information on what you need to know before purchasing a wig so that you can save yourself some confusion or problems, the company problems, and everybody can just be great. So yeah, I hope that this uh, information was very helpful. I hope that I touched on a lot of um, questions that people may have when ordering wigs. If I didn't, you can write them below in the comment section and I can make another video answering some more questions and ideas that you guys have. Um, but I wanted to get on here and just explain just to help somebody out there that's new to wigs or don't really know about wigs or do know about wigs and just need some, some helpful information. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.